Hi guys! I had an amazing weekend recently at Bath Body Painting Festival 2023 and today I'm going to tell you all about it. Before we start, please like, subscribe and click the bell button to know when I post. I make a variety of time lapses, makeup tutorials and product reviews. So if that's what you enjoy, this is the channel for you. It started first in 2017. Bath Body Painting Festival is held annually in the UK near Bath. It is a festival style gathering for body artists, their families and friends. I didn't know much about this festival, I obviously seen some pictures online, but I wasn't sure where and when it was happening until I met Clemency in Gibraltar Body Painting Festival. Clemency Bedford is one of the organizers of Bath Body Painting Festival. She invited me to this event to be a judge. At first I couldn't attend the event because I was booked, but then the party was moved, so the very next day I booked my flight and was waiting impatiently to finally come and see it. The main things about this festival it is that it's very family friendly, it's very newbie friendly. For adults there is a bar for everybody, there is a fire pit, there are some activities for kids like bouncy castles, hula hoops and obviously you can bring your own things to engage yourself. Camping is included in the ticket so you can bring whatever you want if you are coming by car but if you come by a plane or by a train you can hire a glamp tent and do glamping instead of camping. And obviously there are lots of face and body art connected activities. It is a very busy event and there is always something happening in the background. Depending on the year, it could range from henna, glitter, body painting, like brush and sponge or airbrush workshops. This year there was even a live drawing, which I enjoyed a lot. So here we go, there is a plan for Friday for the first day of the festival. The gates open at 12. I came a bit earlier, but that's fine because somebody is there already. The field where the festival is placed is actually less than 5 miles from the center of Bath, so many people just take a taxi to get there if they're not coming by their own car. Because I have a very strange diet, I went to buy my own groceries, but actually you can buy all-inclusive tickets for the whole weekend, you can have food. It is reasonably priced and you wouldn't have to worry about anything while staying there. So here we are arriving. The field is called Field Good and on the map is placed as Field Good Bar. It is not very busy yet. People are just starting to arrive and there are just a few cars and just a few tents in there. Some people were just relaxing, sitting in the sun and really pleasant weather and some artists were busy and anybody could enjoy and do some art straight away. Sarah was a very early bird, she started to paint before I even arrived. But then at 3 o'clock she had her airbrush workshop. There were two hours between Sarah's workshop and retailer's spotlight and during this time lots of things were happening as well. And I'll show you your 
kid. <laughs> You're a small kid. Yeah, my small kid. <laughs> You're a small kid. And I want to brag. Yeah. It's only a little one. <laughs> Capable of doing myself. Doing videos of when you wipe it off, like oh, a real tattoo, yeah. just from your social media. So FX comes in like that. Thank you very much. That's all right. The next thing in the queue was a glitter demonstration from Bioillumination. Their glitter is vegan, it's biodegradable. From my experience, many biodegradable glitters can have a matte surface. And I would say that I still like it because they have something to eat. But uh, Bioillumination's glitters are very, very shiny and they do look very pretty. Two ladies that run this business, they are both face painters and they wanted to have a good biodegradable glitter in UK so they started to find more about it, to order some samples to make sure that they're all 100% biodegradable and they're also making their own color combinations by mixing different sizes of glitters and different colors. Of course they also have their own Bombs and their own glues that they apply their glitter with. Tammy was also showing me the stand that they sell as well for um, displaying their glitters. If you're doing like a glitter bar, so you can put your glitters on the stand to look nice. In the meantime, there are a few photo shoots were happening as well. There is a lovely nature, a huge field. The temperature was amazing. You could just walk and it was very comfortable, not too hot, not too cold.
Let's see who won. Okay, I'm gonna go from third to first just to keep you all waiting, you know, because that's cool. In third place, we have the wonderful, drum roll anyone? Hey, Chloe! We'll sort out at the end, guys, because we're. Yes, we have the wonderful, the lovely Zosha! Okay, and so for first prize, I feel like we need a bigger drum roll this time, guys. Come on, let's get it. Who oh, is Jane the Forest? I was doing too many things at a time, so I didn't manage to get this group TikTok thing. So I have no idea what it is. But next thing we have Matt today and his workshop. Rough sketches are like hand on, you can see my process, my thought process, how I do it. Because when I look at an image on a phone, when I pull it up in the bed, when a child asks for something, I'm looking for something in particular in those designs. And you ask, well, the idea of this is on the job. Next in the queue, Frankenstein's acoustic set, and I managed to record just a couple of seconds. And then the last thing planned was bingo with Sabine. I've got a special edition. Um, we will do the first card is a speed bingo. Everybody on the camping ground. Okay, just to make it clear, I've been I've been warned before. <laughs> Number thirty-four. Okay, Saturday, the competition day. Waking up slowly, getting ready. Good morning. Sabine kindly offered me a tent so I could stay on the field. And I forgot to mention about the facilities. So there is a toilet for glam tents. There is a toilet for tents. There are three toilets in the main area, just now on the right side. And there are also two showers. Early morning, queue to the food. It's nine o'clock, the body paint competition started and uh, everybody is busy painting. I didn't really have to uh, be in a hurry because I was only painting a demo so I was painting just the front of the model 
and I'm very very fast so I, I think I painted only three hours actually so I had lots of time to have a look to go around to see how the other people are painting also not everybody started at 9 30 I think there were a few starting times that's why you can see some people that are not painted yet So here we have two categories, uh, first one is novice one, so for those who never painted, and I mean body painting not face painting, and second category is for experienced body painters. First thing after you stopped painting, you would go and take photos. So normally at each event uh, there are professional photographs, professional photo booth where you can go and take uh, your photos or photo of your model and this was no exception. You had three positions, three stations where you go and take your photos.
I didn't have time to take a video or a photo with my model because we were judging and it took us quite a long time so straight after we finished we went out to the field with my model with Angela to take some photos and to record a video. Between painting, taking photos, judging, it took some time so everybody probably had their time to take their own photos to record whatever they wanted and then there is a time for everybody to gather together and to have a group photo. My, your beautiful handiwork of the artists. A few poses, a little bit of an over the shoulder number. And then let's go all the way back up here. And. Now every model will need to go on the stage and have their own showtime. Then afterwards everybody is going on the stage and on a catwalk and then there are going to be results. Job today, you have made it a very hard job for all of the judges. 
Um, I'd like to celebrate the fact that this year we had eight novices. We love the novice people. We like to bring you into the fold, adopt you into our family. Um, and we thank you so much for taking a risk on us and coming out and doing your first body paint. So thank you. A big round of applause for everybody that took the risk. This will surprise the judges, but I was listening when you were talking earlier and we have more prizes, so how are we going for third? So, third prize for the novice competition was the lovely Jade Webb, who painted the wonderful Stevie Cole. Give it a big old Jade. Nice girl. Lovely newbie, Barry Barker, who we met over in the World Body Painting Festival taking photos and we have pestered him until he came and joined us. Well done, Barry. Well, you know, you've got to start somewhere, babe. So, first prize for the novice paint. Let's celebrate Shirley Bluecoat Davis and painted Michelle Towers. Well done, Shirley. I'm just going to mention as well, bless her, she had to deal with a bloody nose at the end of it as well. So she had a, this is a lovely surprise for her. <laughs> honourable mention, okay, so this person gets an honourable mention because um, it wasn't that long ago they were a novice, to be quite fair, and it was the um, distinctly different and interesting approach that they took to the theme, which the judges loved. So, please can we put our hands together for Safta. Well done. Third place here. Uh, Bex, you around? <laughs> so another get set go bag. Yep, yeah, brother. Thank you. Please. Second place. Sophie and Jade, come do the walk of shame. <laughs> With the faithful companions, amazing. <laughs> First place of the body painting open competition today. Do you want to know what you're getting? Hang on. Three days at the convention, a team ticket to Gibraltar, and then just a pile of shizzle. Brushes, apron, um, yeah, all, yes. all, all the stuff. All of the stuff. Be glad you don't have to get it on an airplane and take it home. So can the lovely Helen, Miles, and Steph do the same? the official results uh, there was music playing and everybody who wanted to dance they were dancing there was also a karaoke and Sabine was desperate to make me sing and at the moment they gave up they actually finished playing that so I didn't sing and I was so relieved because my singing is on full so I'm glad I didn't have to record that and show everybody Oh well, Sabine can definitely sing for us both. Saturday turned out to be a very busy day. It was painting, then judging, then it was a stage. 
bad prices, then it was karaoke and people were also dancing. Then everybody probably went to do their own things and many people were gathering around the fire pit. For the music, I came a little bit too late, it was already uh, I think 11 and everybody was going to sleep, so I managed to dance just a couple of songs. The previous day on Saturday models were occupying showers and when showers became accessible the water became cold. I didn't dare to go under the cold water, so I promised myself to go to shower in the morning. To prepare myself I decided to have a little run. So anyway I had a nice run in the fields, really enjoyed that and then when I came back shower was actually hot, which was a lovely surprise. After the shower there was a lovely breakfast and then we were ready to start the day. For the live drawing, I was really enjoying this activity, so I didn't record much because I was taking part in it. There were three models that were changing their position, either in 5 minutes or in 15 minutes. Clemency organized it really well, there was a paper and charcoal to use. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay for the whole time because next was my workshop and I had to prepare for that. Sunday morning was actually very lazy and not many people were around because on Saturday after a competition people were relaxing, having a few drinks and I was surprised to see so many people at my workshop. My idea was to transform 2D character into 3D character. So we spoke about lights, shadows and a little bit about perspective. Thank you very much guys, yes, thank you. Straight after my workshop, face painting competition has started. And apart from regular category, there was also a competition for children under 12 and under 18. This was to leave as many children as possible with some prizes. For those who didn't paint, they had a possibility to buy a massage. I think it was only 5 or 4, 20 minutes or so. I was really tempted to have a go, but I had to leave because I had to get home for work the following day. Sad face. What are you doing, Sabine? That looked like a great fun. Unfortunately, these were my last video footages before I left home. The fact that I was leaving didn't mean that the fun was over. Next was drug makeup competition. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get any photos or videos from what was happening after, apart from drag race. Thanks for clemency for this fun video. Get set! Child. Out the way, little one! Go! Go on! <laughs> Go on, Jay! You got this, baby! Go on, yeah! Through the hoop! Through the hoop! Loving it! Go on, Jimmy! Wait for it. <laughs> Go! Go on! Go on! <laughs> you can do it! Go on, my son! Go! Go on, my girl!
Drag Race. Well done. Big cheer for all of our contestants. Woo! Well done. Thank you so much. You can all pay me later. <laughs> This is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to press the like button down. Yes, the one with the thumb up. And I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye! If you are on Instagram, pop in into one of my accounts and say hello. I do arts and crafts, face painting, creative makeup and healthy food and travel. I hope to see you there!